Hello everyone, this is your very own Scarlett Sanders again and today I'm going to talk about spiritual effects of unrequited love. The emotional availability of your beloved is absolutely fundamental to whether this love is going to cause pain or bring happiness to us. Unrequited love can be an extremely destructive force in your life if you allow it to be. As I've discussed before, the more time one-way lovers get to themselves, the more their imagination soars. When their thoughts linger around possible rejection, they start focusing more on despair. Um, these fabricated stories sometimes also have a tragic end and leave the limerent unhappy. Low on self-confidence and sometimes even suicidal. In extreme cases, unrequited love can reduce a person to a shadow of his true self. Love is one of the greatest teachers and mysteries of life. But we become almost obsessed with cracking the code of love and when the object of our love doesn't love us back, we feel betrayed. Lovers start believing that there is something that's missing in them, which if changed can cause the beloved to fall in love with them. They start finding ways to carve out of the marble of their being someone that the beloved will find irresistible. That is so sad. The more you change yourself, the more you will turn into a shadow of your own. In all honesty, unrequited love actually has nothing to do with the other person at all. It's in your mind. It's your mind that makes them special like no one else. It turns them into an idol, an object of worship. Because of the very nature of unrequited love, the object of your love never becomes a part of your real life. Hence, you never bring them down from the pedestal and know what they truly are. We continue to live in a constant state of denial and keep weaving the powerful myths about how perfect everything would be if they were with us. From a spiritual perspective, you might have a past life connection with your beloved, did you know that? This connection makes them feel incredibly familiar and your heart unknowingly goes out to them. This involuntary clinging on to a past life blocks the growth of your soul in this life. You need to claim your power back, snap out of the spell and rescue yourself. In order to make this happen, you need to first realize that you are trapped in a state of negative enchantment. Only then will you be able to do whatever it takes to come out of it. Keep coming back for more. I'll be speaking on this subject in my next video.